Hello, I'm Sean with Backful Supply. It's been a while since I've done a YouTube video and I had a customer bring in uh, Watts 909 one inch RP assembly uh, that they had on their sprinkler system and they've had problems with it leaking out of the relief valve and the customers put a rubber kit into it and he can't seem to get it to stop and he doesn't see anything wrong with it. So he brought it to me to see if I could figure out what's going on with it. Uh, these are an expensive model, so we want to make sure that uh, this is something he can continue to use, if at all possible. So let's get started on it. Let's uh, first turn it on. We've got the outlet shutoff valve off, inlet on. Let's turn it on and see what happens. So we've got it coming out pretty good out of the relief valve right now. So we need to figure out what's going on with that. And the first thing I like to do in those situations is see if we can get it to stop leaking out of the relief valve if we have a greater flow going through it than what's coming out of the relief valve. Okay, I don't even have anything coming out of the downstream side, so I need to figure out what's going on with that. Okay, so the first thing I did was uh, turn on the water to see if I could get flow or open the number two shutoff valve to see if I could get a flow coming out of here and see if it would stop leaking out of the relief valve, and that didn't make a difference. Um, then I opened up these test cocks to see if anything came out of there and I don't even get a drop out of those but I do get some water coming out of the number two test cock. Um, because it's easiest I'm sure that the problem is here but it could still be here as well. The first thing I want to do is take a look in this number one check and see if there's something going on there. And I also want to show you something else inside of these that a lot of people have asked about lately. I never used to have questions about this, but they have asked, why does it look like the body's been eaten away? And see if we can't show you what that looks like in there. Okay, so we do have the right spring there. That's definitely the heavier one. So right down here in the body, people wonder how did this get eaten away? And that is part of the manufacturing, the machining process. So the next thing I want to do is I want to take this um, relief valve cover off and see if I can discover what's going on there. Remember, there's also an internal sensing line that takes the water from the high side of the number one check and brings it down through this internal chamber here to, the, to this side of the diaphragm to push it closed. So let's see if we can tell what's going on there. So as soon as I took the cover off, I could see exactly what the problem was. This disc is on in the wrong place. Um, so this has been put together wrong. And let's see if we can't easily gently work that out. You can see how the stem goes through that seat. Let me just show you how that relief valve stem is supposed to look that stem is supposed to look like this and that disc 
belongs here, not on this side. So we just need to take that apart and put it back together and see if these parts that he has here will still work. So That o-ring actually belongs to the relief valve seat that stays in the body. Okay, so there is an o-ring that's down in the center there that's supposed to be there. Okay, and I'm not sure what else he has going on here. Okay, so I did double check. He did have the, uh, the original o-ring. He left it on the stem down here. And the new kit came with a new o-ring and that really sits in that recess here and then this disc assembly needs to go down onto the threads and you just kind of twist it through that o-ring and press that down like that and then you have the diaphragm go on and again i twist that so as to avoid tearing it much as possible and then you have the washer that goes on it like that and then you can kind of see the recess area of the nut that tightens everything down I just get that started and as I get close I kind of move the washer around tilt it side to side make sure that that sits down inside of the the recess of the washer And then you just snug it down. And that's the way that's supposed to be put together. Now the other thing, it doesn't look like he put any lube on this red o-ring, which is important. Um, and that's why they make the lube. It's a, uh, see if I can find it here in, their, in this kit that I had. I'll have to see if I have some open. But it's this white, lube in this kit and it's made specifically for this model and for this model only and uh, it's designed so that it doesn't wash off because of the water and it doesn't uh, dry out because of the air because this o-ring on the stem is subjected to air coming up through the bottom of the relief valve and i just noticed there's another o-ring sitting inside of there That o-ring looks like it's off of the bushing. It's right here. He's got both of those there. And actually one of them looks smaller than the other. So we'll replace that. I'm betting that's the new one. It's the thicker one. Um, let's see if I've got some of that right lube here. Yes, I do. Let's see if I can get this old O-ring off. And we'll put a little bit of lube on there. Okay, so we'll just put some of this lube on these two O-rings. And this is the sensing passage. And had I, didn't, had I not found the air with this when I took it apart, I would have double checked that sensing line passageway to make sure that it wasn't obstructed in any way. Uh, because of the way it was dumping, it was significant amount. 
Um, so now we want to put the lube on here. And this one is one of the few that you really put a good amount on. Because you want this O-ring to stay soft. Um, but before we put that back in, I want to show you something else. I don't know if you can see it or not, but that O-ring on the stem is going to be pressed and sit against this back piece down here. And I know you can't see that very well, so I've got this cutaway here. So this is the same model, the 909 cutaway version. And there's your O-ring. And when the relief valve is pushed in the closed position, it presses against the brass body. And that's about the only finished part inside of there. So you need to make sure that that brass is not pitted. Uh, otherwise this O-ring won't seal and you'll have a nuisance dripping continually and you wouldn't be able to stop it. So anyway, just so you can get a better view of that, you can see how it's machined. You can see the groove that's down in there that that O-ring presses against. Again, but it is hard to see down inside of these and it's even more difficult to actually get it cleaned out. Okay, so we'll go and put this relief valve assembly back in and when you push that through the seat, some of the lube will push out. So push that in and then we'll wipe that lube off of the seat. Now also if you look at the instructions closely on how you put this back in, they tell you to push that in and stick a screwdriver up the relief valve to hold that in place as you uh, put the cover back on. The reason being is that um, you can get the end of the relief valve stem not seated properly and you'll go to put this cover on and you'll end up bowing it uh, or bowing the or bending the stem. And I will show you on the cutaway what I mean as best I can. That part's not quite cut away. Uh, let's see. And then you can just pull that screwdriver out. Stick that back up here. And let me see if I can show you what I mean. Okay, so you can see in the back here where there's a washer of the back side of the um, relief valve stem. And there's a nut on the end of it. And let me just pull this new one out. Where did I put the new one? See this nut and washer on the end? That nut needs to sit into this recessed area here. And sometimes you can put it in just off a little bit so it sits outside that recess. And when you go to put the cover on, you end up tightening those bolts and bowing the stem or bending the stem ever so slightly. Okay, so I had to stop to answer a phone call, and in the meantime, I uh, put the number one check back in, and we're ready to turn it on and see if it's any better than it was before. It's got to be. So, so we got a little initial spit. You can see the water sitting on that wood, I think. But I don't see anything else going on with it. So that was the issue, was that the relief valve stem had been put together incorrectly. So 
looks like this is good. I'll just have to get a test kit now and just test it to make sure the numbers are where they need to be and go from there. I hope that this is helpful and uh, hope you have a good day. Hope to see you back here at the site.